Hello and welcome. Uh, in the how to videos for quick test professional, I intend to give short videos of uh, simple features of quick test professional. If you want a detailed uh, training program and uh, a course on uh, the entire basic and advanced quick test professional, you can call me at 3148275272 or write an email to me at qtp.elearn at gmail.com. So in today's session, we will try and do a simple record and run and how QTP does these operations. Uh, in our real-time uh, work side, we don't do record and run as extensively as we do uh, the other options uh, through which we have QTP recognize objects, which is the most important concept of uh, uh, any automation tool. So we will do uh, and try and learn how record and run works and in future videos, you will, I'll also try and show you how the other uh, different features for QTP works. So in this uh, video, we'll look at how to uh, do a simple automation on yahoo.com um, on a website. So what we'll try and do is uh, enter some information in our search field and then click on web search to see if the display, if the uh, results are getting displayed. So to do that using QTP, what I'll do is first uh, open a new test and this is my basic view that I have. So under this, we will see that expert view continues to generate uh, code as we try and uh, do various steps during the record method. So I'm going to close the browser uh, before I start the QTP recording. So once you have uh, installed and opened your uh, quick test professional uh, and open a new test, then you would go to your record and then settings and uh, instruct QTP that open the following address that is yahoo.com when you do either a record or run. So every time you record or run, it would open yahoo.com for this specific test. So after we have made the changes, I'm going to, so that will show you uh, what status is QTP at that time. So in a second or two, you, so I have uh, yahoo.com now uh, being opened through QTP. And when I do any specific activity on this browser, you will see the steps getting generated. So I'm going to uh, cascade my windows a little so that you could see uh, how the steps are getting generated as we do any specific operations. So the first thing I wanted to do was uh, click on the edit field and start writing some search term. So let's search for New Year's Eve party 2009 in Hollywood. That's the one I searched earlier as well. So I will select this. As I do that, you'll see that a one line of code got generated in your expert view. So it what it means and how does it generate this we will look at it later but for now we will see uh, how QTP does record and run so when I'm executing any steps on this browser you will see that the code keeps changing and QTP is still recording so once I've completed this uh, two simple steps I'm gonna click on stop so now I have my uh, test ready so with these two operations now I can go ahead and close my browser and uh, let's look at these two uh, lines of code. So what the first line of code means is that there is a browser object and it is given that browser a name called Yahoo and under which it can find a page. Again, it is given that another name Yahoo and in which there is a web edit. There is an object of type web edit. Web field that can be edited so that was our search field on that there is a specific method being performed and that is called set what set will do is any string that we give out here gets displayed in that web edit the second line of code is on the same browser and on the same page there is a different object called button of under a web button and the name of that button is web search. These are not properties, these are names. On that, we are doing another method called click. So let's see how this gets generated when we do a run. So when I do run, QTP will quickly go through executing these lines of code. Uh, I've only entered uh, a blank line to show and differentiate these two lines of code. I have deleted that right now. It wouldn't matter either way. So what I would do is another option called uh, debug or step into. This will instruct QTP to take one step at a time and wait for our instructions. So I am done using the into, and you will see that slowly QTP will uh, show a status of and will the first 
is open at the go to yahoo.com that was the step we had given um, in our record and run settings okay now it has opened up yahoo.com and you can see that the yellow arrow is pointing to the first line and that is the line it has to yet to execute so once it says step into you will see that that line of uh, e uh, execution was performed on that object and it has entered this the second line is it will now try and click on this web search button so let's see how that works so it has finished those two operations and you'll see that the test has completed uh, so to see the results of the test you can go and open test results to see what it has done so you can see that uh, a summary which says that th we ran this test once uh, and the results uh, we got was done so primarily there are no errors or warnings that we have seen um, so we can navigate further into the uh, test results to see what exactly has been done on each of the objects and the status of it alright so once we have done this basic record and run uh, we will come back uh, in the next video to look at how the object repository looks and what happened when we were recording to the object repository thank you and look forward to the second video from uh, my side